I hope you're not my last customer. Uh, we can't... Wait a minute, we can't talk to the Templar? Really? He's got nothing else to say? He... Let me just dismiss him. And then we can talk to him, alright. The Grand Maester. Behind the Order's corruption. Deep down, I think I always knew. Perhaps that's why I never felt worthy of the Order. As if I was not a true Templar. Your beliefs were hollow. The ideas that were beaten into your mind could never reach your heart. So what will you do with your life now? What will you believe in? I believe in you and your quest. This world must be saved, regardless of the corruption of the Templar. Alright, cool. And, uh, let's hire him again. Lead the way to glory. That was, that was pretty, that was better. It was better than Linden's one. Wow, Linden's one was so bad. <laughs> it literally just walked down a corridor, killing in, in consequential things. The Templars were actually a threat, almost died. Look, the sliver is changing. Malthael is doing something to the Black Soul Stone. Exactly. He's been gathering strength from the souls of Westmarch in order to alter the stone. Yet his purpose still eludes me. He's killing everyone. What more do you need to know? We can't stop him unless we know what he is planning to do next. Okay. Well, that. Urzael has done this to finish collecting the souls of Westmarch. Urzael, it is time for him to die. Where is he? All I know is that he is in a tower somewhere in the Westmarch Heights, and that he will be quite rude to you. Before you set up <laughs> quite team, rude. you should stop by my cart. I can enchant some items for you. Alright, now we have the Mystic. The Mystic can enchant items and also change the appearance of items. Enchant items means you can change one of these stats into something else, which is actually kind of useful. Although, you kind of want to spend it on things you want to keep, and none of this stuff is all that necessary for us to keep, really. Let me just talk to people. But now, wow, look at all this stuff. What do you know of Urzael? He is Malthael's lieutenant, much the same way that Iswal was mine. He does his master's bidding without question. Why didn't Malthael kill you in the tomb of Rakas and take your soul? I may be mortal, but I am not Nephilim. I have no demon blood in me, and therefore Malthael does not see me as his enemy. And we are? We killed the Lords of Hell! That is of no consequence. You are half-demon to him and therefore on the wrong side of the eternal conflict. Right. Tyriel, you are still in pain. I have felt pain before, but nothing like this. It is different being mortal. The pain wears on you. It is something a true warrior learns to bear. Do you have any idea why Malthael would want the Black Soul Stone? I have been thinking on that since our encounter. But every scenario I envision simply doesn't make sense. Regardless of what he has become. He must have a plan, even if we do not know what it is. Hmm. Why didn't Tyriel just destroy the Black Soul Stone? The Black Soul Stone was made by a man, unlike previous Soul Stones. We had no idea what would happen if we destroyed it. It seemed a better idea to hide it away forever. We had no way of knowing that Malthael was watching us the entire time. How could we? And if we get it back from Malthael, we will just hide it again? I don't know. But it's better for us to have the stone than Malthael. If we make it that far, we'll worry about what to do next. So you don't have a plan, okay. Story's pretty good. Seven. Solid seven, I think. 
they're doing a decent job of telling you what's going on. Why we are doing the stuff we're doing. And we have the mystic. Hello. What can you tell me about Urze? Well, he seems to have an affinity for fire. I'd watch out for that if I were you. Of course. But can you tell me anything else? Urzael was sent to find Malthael by our friend Tyrion. He blames himself for what Urzael has become. Jelsa, how sweet of you to ask. My people, the Vetchin, are nomads. Always traveling, looking for the land we might settle. All of us have the sight, but few have it as strong as myself. You know, men have always pursued me for my visions. <laughs> well, for things other than my visions. But everyone wants to know what the future holds. My future holds death for those who seek to do this world harm. Always with the fighting and the battle cries. Can't you stop and enjoy the warmth of a good man? Uh... Not until we save the world, I don't think. What else can I tell you? I had a vision of death blanketing our world. So I left my people, my family, to come help you. It is quite the sacrifice. Nonsense. We veteran often receive visions telling us when it is time to find a new family. I've had many in my life. I still love and miss each and every one of them. Except for Jonah. I never really liked that one. Yeah, screw Jonah. Screw that guy. Uh, Alright, so that, that's all the talking for now. Let's craft. So what she does is she can enchant. So for example, we can do this. Oh, we need level two. Let me just and transmogrify. So you can change the appearance of your weapon. Doesn't change the stats. We can change how it looks, right? So we can change it into an axe, or a club, or another club, or another club, or like another axe, or another axe. So let me uh, upgrade her. Axe her out. Just like that. And then we can, for example, change 2000 life after each kill. Hmm. I mean, we can change that to like a stun on hitch or something cool like that. Or alternatively, we can change vitality to. Oh, we can't have health on. Hits because we already have health, uh, health after each kill. Oh, that sucks. So we can't get healing per hit from this. And we can see how there's seven percent damage. That's already max. Strength is actually the strength and the vitality stats aren't all that good. Or rather, they can be a lot better. Interesting. So there you go. Like you can change the stats basically. And uh, for the most part, I think we want sockets on things. I don't think there's anything I really want to change on any of this stuff. Except maybe like increase bash, for example. We might want to change this to increase frenzy damage. But it costs quite a bit to do this. We only have 10 of these death's breath things. Death's breath things. So you know, but if we get like a frenzy damage by 15%, that would be nice on this. So there are a few things we want to change, but since not none of this gear is all that important, I don't think I will change much. All right, let's go back to uh, our quest. West March Heights. Oh, look at that! Everything's on fire. Oh, look, everything's on fire. Look at all this fire. Let's bash some crates because that's important to me. So we just defeated a, a boss thing, right? Just see how things go here. 
Can I stun him? No. It says I've engaged the Shade of Malthale. Apparently that was like a mini boss. I don't see where they are though. Hey, look. Continue beating this guy till he dies. Alright, I'm feeling effective. I'm feeling effective. Let's give that a 7. I think our combination of skills and items are pretty good. Oh look, look at those guys. Ah, uh, all right. Let me just get the ancients up. Maybe it run around a little bit. Run back and forth, run back and forth. Maybe I'll slam as well. Oh, that's not very good. Stun him. Finish him off. Great! Let's give that a 9, I feel like. Even though, I mean, it wasn't all that challenging or anything. It just felt good. This feels like everything is in control. And everything's working out. door here. What is this? Clifton Hall. Hi guys. True Sons of the Wolf. Let me make sure to loot everything. There's dead people on the ground and then there's these guys. Uh, let me just wait until that cools down and then talk to them. It is done. The bloodline of Rakis will once again sit on the throne of Westmarch. And that would be you. My grandmother was the daughter of Coralon, but he would not claim her because she was born of a courtesan, not a queen. With the peasants supporting me, Westmarch will become a place of freedom and equality. The idle rich will be no more. Of course, there will be some bloodshed. We must make a few examples, consolidate our power, a small price to pay. You betrayed your king while the city suffers, and you think people will follow you, Kerr? I have spent my whole life preparing for this day, barbarian. Let us have at it then, All right, well, he also has a shield. I do that. Which means that we need to get rid of the mages before we actually can hit him. Or rather the the ancients will take care of the mages. Well I do not very much. Alright, let's see if we can chain stun him. Alright, not like that. This other guy, this boss also has a stun. Not too happy no about. Need more time. I think he's also summoning more and more guys as well. Not too happy about that. Let me uh, get rid of those archers and then stun him. Wow. 
Wow, he just... These mages just appear. And these archers just stand there. Alright, engines again. That took a bit of work. That took a bit of work. Mostly the mages, giving him infinite life. Well, shielding. Until you get rid of them. Let's give that a, a 9. That was a... Uh, Challenging. I did get shoes out of it. I have come to realize that my personal feelings are of no consequence. My people are dying, and they need their king. Our resistance starts today, and Lord Winton, of all people, has provided the means. These Reapers shall not have Westmarch. I swear my life on it. Ah, uh, Blackthorn Spurs. We already have the Blackthorn, um, the armor, now we have the feet. But I don't want Blackthorn, I want, um, Immortal King's set. Because I want the Ancients to last until they die. So, um... I think we'll ignore this because the leap is quite good. The, the triple leap that we have right now. Slightly disappointed by the loot, but that's how it goes, I guess. So we have to kill, we have to find the tower of Core Lane and also kill three flame maidens. Oh, that's, is that one of them? No, that's, that's something else. That guy is on fire. And I need to uh, try not to be on fire. Looks like we're gonna have to rely on the ancients again. I can't. Wow. Okay, I just I just missed the potion. I need to spam the potion earlier. Damn it. Damn it. So close. All right, let's finish him off. Should be able to just punch him down. All right, there you go. Let's give that a, a 9. Challenging. I died, which I'm not happy about, but... That was, you know, it wasn't cheap. It wasn't an unfair death. That was literally me failing to press the, uh, the potion in time. What is that? That's not enough healing. I mean, the thing about the Blackthorn set is that it does make you immune to a lot of these effects that the, uh, the mini-bosses have. It's like, if you get four pieces of it, you're immune to Desecrator, Molten, and Plagued Monster Ground effects. So that's actually kind of good. For example, we died to a... Uh... Well, we didn't die to it. I guess we died to an explosion. I don't know. It helps, but it doesn't help as much as some of the other sets. It will never recover, will it? My home never did. Perhaps yours will be lucky. Alright, what's next? There's uh I 
I would like a weapon upgrade. Or well, maybe after I hit level 70, I would like a weapon upgrade. Because <laughs> a level 70 weapon is worth a little bit more than a level 69 weapon. I have said this right, the level cap is 70, and so... Anything you find underneath level 70, you kind of have to get a better one anyway, because... A level 70 is going to be better than it. So the loot doesn't really matter in the long run until you get to 70. Alright, let's just chain stun the maiden of flame and then chop at her until she dies. Thanks to the ancients. Oh, it's the other one. Two in a row. Two Maidens of Flame right after the other. Can I just deal with her myself? Maybe I can. She doesn't seem to do all that much damage. Just rush into her. Chain stun her a little bit. Alright, well, they're actually quite easy, the Maidens of Flame. Let's give them a 7. They put up a decent fight, but... Don't do very much. Given that we are tanky enough to, uh... Just stand there and hit them. What is this stuff? What is this stuff? Junk. Alright. The dungeon. Repository of Bones Level 1. Oh, it's a massive dungeon, this one, I think. Pestilence in West March killed both humans and beasts alike. The panicked survivors then threw the corpses of both into the plague tunnels. Now the Reaper's presence has revived many of those interred there, with the bones of beasts rising again as skeletal crawlers, driven to kill the living. The phantasms are unlike any spirits I have seen on Sanctuary. They bear a resemblance to lesser beings, but the souls of demons are always reborn in the hell. I suspect the phantasms may be the remnants of some early Nephilim, those born more demon than angel. Yes. Alright, so that's a... we have a slightly different environment. Don't walk in the fire. The rat caller literally calls rats. Impossible. But the rats don't really do anything useful. I don't think there's anything down here in this dungeon. That's actually uh, all that interesting. We'll see though. I don't remember this dungeon very well to be honest. Alright, crowds of enemies, awesome. No 
not much of a challenge are these things. Let's give this a 6 for combat for now. Uh, what is going on here? That guy is just flying away from me. What's it doing? Nothing. Yeah, summon more rats, guys. Summon more of them. I would love for you to summon more rats. What is going on? It's not very really interesting down here, is it? It's just a lot of rats. The rats don't do anything. I think that's it. It's like... There's a lot of things you have to press buttons on. They don't really do anything except die. Like this, like, like, you have to kill them, but they don't do anything. <laughs> 